Tonight we begin a series of conversations, taking on the hard question, where do we go from here on race? I got some strong opinions from noted New York City filmmaker Marshall Curry. A lot of white people and a lot of people who maybe have not paid attention to what's been going on um, in other communities are, are, are starting to listen and starting to starting to, to understand. So. Curry is an Oscar-nominated documentary filmmaker who lives in Brooklyn. He spent a lot of time thinking about race and class in America, and he thinks we're at a pivotal moment. Is it an awakening? I, I think it is. I've, you know, been talking to, to friends and family, you know, Republicans and Democrats, people who are cops, and I think people really are hearing for the first time uh, what what a lot of people suffer through. Are white people you speak with, are they expressing surprise, shock, or did they know this all along? I think for a lot of white people, it is news. I saw a, a Pew study that was being published recently. It said that 75% of whites thought that police use approximately the right amount of force when doing their job, and 33% of African Americans felt the same way. So. That is a massive disconnect. Does the conversation go beyond policing into all the other aspects of society where people don't feel like they're being treated equally? I do think it does. The policing is the thing that I think has caught people's eye. But I think once you, once you take the, the scales away from your eyes and you start to, to look at the world around you, you see that there are racial problems in, in lots of different facets. Curry's documentaries include the Oscar-nominated A Night at the Garden, about a 1939 Nazi rally held in Madison Square Garden, and Street Fight, about Cory Booker's campaign for Newark mayor. He noted that in Newark these days, things have been different. You know, it's sort of famous for 1967 having a racial uprising, and yet this time they've by and large been nonviolent and have not been destroying property. In 1967, that city was run by white people, and the police were almost exclusively white. And so people in that city felt their voices and their pain were not being heard at all. And I think that the city wisely made room for people's outrage and didn't try to come in with, with oppressive force to, to, to keep people from, from expressing their pain. So people wonder, what can I do? How can I affect change? There's a, a level of educating oneself that's important. As much as we can both reach outside of our circles to engage with people who have different experiences from our own, I feel like there's a huge value in that. And frankly, I think there's a value in white people talking to other white people. Right. Are you hopeful right now? I do think uh, that for the first time in my whole life, there is a, an interest in having these conversations and an urgency to having these conversations that I've never seen in my life. 